I was born in Bethany Beach on 5th Street, grew up there my entire life. Bethany was open for business from Memorial Day to Labor Day and my sister and I and my youngest sister, we had that whole town to ourselves all winter long and we, you know, we would play on people's porches, we would pretend we lived in the house. My parents had bought me a, a, a chalkboard in my room and all I did was draw on it. You know, that was my fantasy world, that's where I expressed myself. They always encouraged me and I always knew that I was going to go and study art. My grandmother, I guess around age 55 or 60, started uh, taking up art classes. I remember seeing the jars with paint brushes and I loved looking at her artwork. She finally allowed me to do my first oil painting with her when I was in third grade, which was the view from her house. You know, she was a really big influence on my work. My dad was a builder. I've just always been drawn to architecture and especially the alleys of Bethany. The alleys are where all the beauty is. As you go up and down the alley, you see the backyards and the picnic tables and the Weber grills and the clotheslines and, you know, just activity. People would say, oh, why would you want to put like a, a garbage can that's fallen over, a picnic table that's losing its leg? It's the way things are and it's the way that I see it. It's all about the way the light's playing, the way the birds are singing. They're, you know, when I was little, you would hear the humming of the electric lines, things like that. There's just more to it than just the visuals. And I think a lot of people who see my pieces identify with that. When I tried to draw on white, it was just too hard, you know. It was to be able to draw my light. It was already light, you know. With my etchings, I had always worked from dark to light. I found that, that if I worked on a, a black paper with my pastels, I could do kind of the same things with the, the light that I was interested in. Even though they were landscapes, they were really about light. Each pastel has its own characteristics. I work from hard to soft and from dark to light because if you put dark over light, it, it just takes it all away. If you put light over dark, it mixes. It seems to be the, the way that's easiest for me to work anyway. I had someone send me an image of a garden that I had done. She uh, said she bought it because she just couldn't take her eyes off of it. It meant something to her. And she asked me to identify it, and I told her where it was in Ocean View. And she says, oh my goodness, I remember that when I was growing up. I used to go there and buy that man's flowers. When people tell me stories like that, it just makes me feel really good. And it makes me feel that my, my piece has a really good home. It's just a wonderful thing to be able to start with a piece of paper and then have it develop into something that's meaningful to you.